So I'm just finishing up a cup of tea here and I thought I'd share a new product I have. It's a new stainless steel kettle from Fire Maple, but different than their others. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I do want to thank Fire Maple for sending out this new kettle so that I could share it with you. So what I'll do is I'll just bring the camera in a little closer, show you the kettle in a bit of detail, and talk about what makes this kettle special and different from the others in their lineup. So this is the Fire Maple 1.2 liter stainless steel kettle from their Antarctic line of pots and pans, all made of stainless steel, makes them all great for using in the fire, as you can see. I've done a fair amount of this with this. And quickly, this is becoming one of my favorite kettles to take out for a couple of reasons that I'll share with you now. Uh, it has the same general shape, if you will, of the other Antarctic kettles. One thing that makes it different though, of course, is that this is bigger than their one liter and a little bit smaller than their large one. This is 1.2 liter, 40.3 ounces. That'll be in the video description for the uh, measurements for this. I'll put all physical dimensions and everything and weight and all that in the video description if you're interested. Uh, what makes this different? Right off the top, look at the opening, how much bigger it is than their other kettles. Now, I didn't mind using the other one for making coffee or tea with or anything like that. But this one has some real advantages. Number one, right off of the top, and it was designed with this in mind. You can put an eight ounce gas canister, a gas canister down inside with no problem. You can see there's actually a bit of room. So you can drop that down inside, goes in nice and flush, probably get a few things around the outside if you wanted to. I think I'd probably put a bandana or a paper towel or something inside of that, uh, just because, well, usually because this is wet after use anyway. Other thing about this large opening is that it actually turns it into a pot. You can get down inside of this very easily. You can cook any number of things in this. It reminds me a lot of the GSI stainless steel catalyst, just a tiny bit bigger. I'm going to say a little bit more heavy duty overall. This, I think I prefer just a bit over the GSI stainless steel. One of the things is the rounded corners down inside. That makes it really easy to clean out if you have any food inside of this. So I actually have done some cooking. Now, nothing dramatic. I've cooked or boiled, hard boiled some eggs, heated some soups up, things like that. Things that you can get in here and get out of, which is just as important, very easily. Beautiful for doing exactly that with. That's the reason why this has become, I'd say my go-to kettle for putting over a fire out here in the woods. Great kettle. All right, let's wrap this video up. So truly, this has become my go-to kettle for the reasons already stated. The volume, 1.2 liters, is perfect. Just enough that you can do a little bit more than you can with a smaller kettle. But that wide opening on the top of this is what makes all the difference. Yes, you can put the gas canister down inside. But more importantly, at least to me, is I can get food down inside of there and get it out again. And it's going to be so easy to clean up afterwards. So it's much more than a kettle. It's actually a pot. That's the way I'm looking at this. Kind of a dual purpose item for sure. Okay, short video. I'll put physical description in the video description. I'll put the links in the video description, but if you have any comments or questions for me on this kettle, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore. And take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.